there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. Yes, thank you all so very much for tuning in. So the, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, also keep in mind that we could be speaking with a cross watcher here, so the roles can be reversed. Just place it in your life as it fits. Don't try and place anything in your life that doesn't fit there naturally. Yes? Also, if you would like to get a, a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below, as well as the link to uh, Patreon if you'd like to get some extra monthly content or just support the channel. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Lots of great stuff over there as well. Yeah? All righty, Saggy. Let's get into your, your pre-shuffle energies here. First card out that came for you here was the Three of Cups. And immediately what I felt from that was you are ready to get yourself back out there. You're ready to be social. Some of you are just now getting in the preliminary phases of this. Some of you have been in this already. But there is a mess, there is a, a message here or an energy here of you're ready to get that, get back out there and be social again. And that is because you have successfully transversed a transition traversed a transition, death in reverse, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Hanged Man, and the Five of Pentacles. This transformation or transition has helped to change your karma or change the cycles that you experience in your life because you have gained a change in perspective, the Hanged Man, that has changed your feelings or your views about your worthiness. Five of Pentacles or some sort of lack mentality. The lack mentality is gone here. That's what you've sufficiently or yeah, sufficiently transformed out of death in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups to the Two of Pentacles to the Six of Swords to the King of Pentacles to the Star to the Queen of Cups to the world. All right. But this is you moving forward slowly but surely towards what it is you actually want in life, what's going to make you happy, maintaining a sense of balance and just keeping yourself moving forward. Beautiful energy for you, Sagittarius. I really love this. Pretty straight to straightforward and to the point. Excellent. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, Sag. I wanted to shift my fan over. OK, let's get into the rest of your reading here, Sagittarius. My Sagittarius, yes. Uh, sun, Moon, and Rising. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you this time period, okay? All right, Saggy, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, and we'll see what other messages we have for you for this month or this time period. Yes, this is one. For my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of September 2021. This is two. This is three for Sagittarius for the month of September, 2021. This is four. And this is five. Alrighty, Sag, let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Sagittarius. The Ace of Pentacles. What I'm hearing for you here, Sagittarius, with the Ace of Pentacles is that your new life or a new life is starting. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Emperor. And this life is... How do I want to say this? You're moving forward with this new life in the driver's seat. As the center of your manifestation, what that's what I'm hearing, as the center of your world, of the master, as the master of your domain, you're in control here. All right. I do like to say with the emperor that this is you being in the driver's seat, but that can also be an energy of the chariot as well, but so which could be uh, in alignment with you. But I'm definitely getting as the emperor being in the driver's seat for yourself. Okay. Underneath the emperor is the devil. But then underneath the devil is the Six of Swords, all right? So you have sufficiently, yeah, Six of Swords. Underneath the Six of Swords is the Ace of Cups, okay? So you're moving forward quite well. The devil may be standing in opposition to you, okay? There may be some circumstances 
in which, you know, you recognize that same old devil energy from the past that really had you caught up, that had you like tripping, tripping like hard body, but that energy doesn't hit you the same because you're in the driver's seat. You're in this emperor energy. You're the master of your, your domain. So effectively, this devilish energy no longer has control over you and you are moving forward. Wow, six of swords, ace of cups, seven of wands, shit, uh, Sagittarius, sorry. Seven of wands, six, six oh, sorry, six of wands, seven of wands. Okay, so, well, sorry, seven of wands, six of wands. So you're, so you're, you, you're keeping your boundaries up. You're holding the line against that which affected you in the past and you're, you're being recognized for it in some cases with the six of wands. In other cases, it's just a personal victory which is no small feat, okay, uh, shoo, shoo, Sag, but this, but, but, uh, like, like, like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> let's look at it this way, Sagittarius, this really shouldn't be a surprise to you, like, if you've been following along on this channel, the story that Sagittarius has been going through month, consistently, month after month, this really shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, that resonates here, okay, so, good for you, let's get into the rest of your reading, yeah? First half, second half. First half of your reading is going to look at the, the, the past up into the future. Oh, I'm sorry, the past up until the current energies. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies off into the future. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius. In the first half of your reading, you have strength. Ego is in check. That's excellent. Also Leo energy. Sure. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, your ego is in check. And I'm also hearing you're in divine alignment, or at least your ego is in divine alignment with you. Working in tandem. You're not working against each other any longer. Okay. Strength is coupled with the three of cups. Aha! There's the three of cups again. So what this feels like, Sagittarius, is you have the strength of character to enter into the playing field again. Excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius. In the first half of your reading, you have the Ace of Wands. Good. Moving forward with inspiration. I just, what I heard for you, Sagittarius, is this Ace of Wands represents a new sense of drive. I heard new drive. Okay. So either this is you have a vision of your life right now or you have a vision of how you would like to move forward. You have something creatively that you would like to embark on, that you would like to express, that you would like to take on. Or the Ace of Wands is just representing your new sense of vim and vigor for life. Feeling excited about life again. Feeling excited about putting yourself out there again. Feeling like you want to be out there again. Beautiful. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles is actually not a bad thing here, Sagittarius, because what the Four of Pentacles is representing for you is a sense of foundation and holding that foundation. There may be an energy of you really clinging to it right now, uh, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because I feel like this is a new sense of personal foundation that you really want to hold on to so that you can maintain this trajectory. So that you can maintain this new sense of vim and vigor and excitement for life. And if you find yourself really clinging to that sense of four of pentacles energy, it's really just as you're allowing yourself to get settled into it or to become more comfortable with it so that you don't have to hold so tightly to it in the, in the future. All right, this is just a natural part of the process. And that's why I feel like this four of pentacles energy, well, one of the reasons one of the main reasons why I feel like this Four of Pentacles energy is not a bad thing for you right now, okay? Holding your center, holding your sense of ground, that's it. Holding your sense of groundedness, beautiful. Your challenge, Sagittarius, in the first half of your reading is the Ten of Cups. Okay, 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 okay. This is where things can get a little bit dicey because the Ten of Cups is representing a collective energy for you. And with this energy of you feeling like you're ready to put yourself out there or get back involved with the community or the crowd, this is where things can get dicey, like I said, because you could potentially lose, you face losing yourself in the crowd, 
But what this Four of Pentacles energy is representing for you is a foundational place for you to hold your center and not get lost in the crowd. So now that you find yourself entering back into the collective energies where you were in this time period of seclusion or uh, solitude, you're now faced with the new challenge. Well, not, it's not a new challenge, but you're faced with the challenge now of entering back into the collective without losing your sense of foundation or your sense of self. And it's not a new challenge for anybody, but it is, you're approaching it from a new point of view for you. So, okay, it's a, I hope this is making sense. Ten of Cups is coupled with, aha, the Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. Chaos and confusion. But your challenge here is navigating that. Okay, your challenge here is holding your center or holding your ground as you experience this once again. All right. And like I said, you're experiencing it from it. You're experiencing it from a different point of view this time. Excellent. From where you once were. Excellent. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Sagittarius, in the first half of your reading, the nine of pentacles. Love that because this is talking about your sense of sovereignty and independence and self-sufficiency. And you worked hard for this, Sagittarius. You absolutely have every right to be proud of yourself for that, okay? And if you're new to the channel, I highly recommend that you check out some of the previous Sagittarius readings, maybe even dating back as far as August of 2019. Y'all that have been rolling with me for that long, you know how powerful that reading was for Sagittarius. And on it, like literally, if you're brand new to my channel, ever since August of 2019, Sagittarius has been on this ongoing liberation process, okay, that has been getting them to this state of... Interesting, I heard emotional security, but it's that emotional security that's setting up you, setting the foundation for you to be physically self-sufficient. So if you're new to the channel, if you're new here, Go back, start August 2019, work your way up until now, and then actually the whole every step of the way, it may resonate with you if you're resonating with this now, okay? And you're new to the channel. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the Tower. I'm so fucking proud of you, Sag. Like, damn. You really did that thing, didn't you? You really brought that tower. Uh of servitude, loneliness, and debauchery, whoa, and just strife. You worked your ass off tooth and nail and you brought that motherfucking tower down, didn't you, Sagittarius? And now you're standing in this peaceful place of power, personal power. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get into the second half of your reading, yes? So this is going to look at the current energies off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading, you've got the Two of Pentacles. Okay, striking a balance. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Especially with this new perspective and you entering into the collective energies again, you're definitely going to need to relearn how to juggle or relearn how to balance, but you're not relearning. You're recalibrating, okay? You're calibrating now in terms of the alignment that you're in now versus the alignment that you were in in the past. Beautiful. Two of Pentacles. Uh, what I just heard, I'm sorry, Satch, I just heard you're learning how to balance this again, but from a new point of view. Okay. Two of Pentacles is coupled with <coughs> the Lovers. I mean, sure, I did just hear, I, I, what I heard was a new emotional relationship or a new romantic relationship, sure. But what we're really talking about here is this calibration process, recalibrating, learning how to juggle or learning how to rebalance the physical elements of your life in terms of this greater alignment that you've come to within yourself. So proud of you. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading, you have, okay, the Five of Cups. Not a bad thing, but what I'm hearing from this Five of Cups, Sagittarius, is future forward focus. 
So there may still be some things that you're grieving, but I feel like you're more focused on the two of cups. And if you are grieving something right now, I'm feeling this energy of, yes, you're allowing yourself to go through the natural grieving process that you have in front of you, but you're also very excited for the future and what, you're grieve what the loss that you're grieving now means for you in the future. What that has cleared up for you, what that is making space for you, what that has made space for you. You're more excited about moving forward than you are about what it is you've lost, even though you may actively be taking that very necessary time period of grieving the loss of something, going through that emotional purging process. Excellent. The Five of Cups is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? The Ten of Pentacles represents the completion of a life process. It also represents family and long-term goals and working towards something in the long term. Okay. But it also, for me as a reader, represents the closing of a life lesson or a life circumstance. So this is literally, this is literally you grieving your old self, the self that you used to be, the damaged version of yourself that you used to be, which would make perfect sense as to why you are future forward focused and excited about it. Right the fuck on, Sagittarius. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here is the page of pentacles, starting a new process, building the new. I mean, it's really that simple. Building the new. Being committed to the new. Page of Pentacles is coupled with... Ha! The Eight of Cups. I mean, there really isn't much else to say. For those of you that are not familiar with what the Tarot cards actually mean, the Eight of Cups represents walking away from something that may have been long standing in your life that is not of service to you anymore, is not working for you anymore, walking away from that. And that's coupled by, or that's coupled with the page of pentacles. So like it's, this is literally straightforward for you. Uh, sorry, Sagittarius. Um, walking away from the old and starting the new. That's your challenge in the in the second half of your reading, the current energy off into the future. And there really isn't much else that I can say about that. It's pretty straightforward and it really doesn't feel like it's all that difficult for you, at least in this moment. Okay. Your closing message or potential outcome for you, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading is temperance. Well, this is you right here, Sagittarius. Yes, this is your energy, Sagittarius. Temperance, balance, patience, Harmony, focused on harmony. And for some of you, I feel like you're not only focused on harmony for yourself, but you're focused on harmony externally. And that could represent you getting into situations. Ooh, I just heard caught up. You getting caught up in situations with other people trying to strike a balance for them when it's not necessarily your place to facilitate that for them to begin with. But I understand where you're coming from them for, with, with that because you have this unique perspective of your own that you want to try and bring to people to help them with. Just remember, Sagittarius, you can't change anybody's life for them. You can help influence them, but the easiest way for you to do that, Sagittarius, is just to lead by example, okay? I mean, getting up on that soapbox and preaching may not help. I feel like, Sagittarius, you are better by just you're better off by just leading by example, allowing your personal life to be an example to others, and then just making, letting them make their decisions or come to their conclusions or get alignment with, get in alignment with it if they choose to, okay? Temperance is coupled with, uh, yeah, the three of swords. All right. But I definitely feel like Sagittarius, the Temperance and the Three of Swords is actually an external focus for you. You have this balance and this healing within, but now this is an external focus for you. So that's why I'm hearing getting caught up. Just be careful. Allow your experiences and your current energetic vibration to speak for itself. Okay? There's no longer a need for you to dive into the process of trying to fix or change someone's reality for them. Lead by example. It's the best way to do it. Okay, Sag. 
Let's close your reading with some oracle guidance. I want to go with a light worker oracle for you. Yeah. And I really want to say that this is a testament to how much you've come, how far you've come or how much you've grown Sagittarius, because it seems right so far, it seems that your message is one of the shortest this month. Excellent. Five shuffles for you, Sag. This is one. This is two. This is three. Ooh, I just, there's this big, beautiful black butterfly outside. Wow, this is four. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh my God, and it's massive too. It's beautiful. This is four. <laughs> Holy moly, that's gorgeous. And this is five. It's this big black butterfly that seem, that looks like it has, it almost looks like a monarch, but I don't think it is because it's black. It's all black and it has these like yellow wing tips. Gorgeous. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Sagittarius, for the month of September 2021. Such a gorgeous butterfly. Oh my God, I love it. And it's massive too. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Sagittarius. <laughs> Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius for this month. Sag, you're so good. You're like just so set that there's Spirit's just like, mm, what do we want to say? Okay. Card number five, Karmic Clearing. You are fast outgrowing a level of consciousness to which are attached particular wounds, issues, and struggles. As you outgrow that consciousness, these issues will release their grip on you. You are receiving divine notice that karmic clearing is taking place through a combination of your own efforts and spiritual grace from the heart of the divine. It is time for an old wound to be re released once and for all. I swear to God, can't make this shit up. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for their next reading for the month of October. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>